These are Nigerians living in France and other parts of Europe. They're here to interface with President Bola Tinubu, who was in that country for the new Global Finance Impact Summit. I would like to thank you very much for this opportunity to, for meeting us, the diaspora, the French diaspora. The meeting, which was at the instance of the Nigeria Diaspora Commission, NEDCOM, afforded these Nigerians the opportunity to air their views on what they would like the new president to do for the diaspora community. I think it's important to talk about the Nigerian-born, French-born uh, citizens who are very proud of being Nigerian, who would like to invest and to continue and, and create a project in Nigeria. The president then shared his thoughts with them on the need to preserve the country's unity, as that's the only way it can prosper. Nigeria belongs to all of you, all of us. Our diversity is an asset if we know how to use it for our prosperity. Born of the same father, in the same house, except living in different rooms. We must promote unity, stability, and economic justice for every one of us. After his speech, David Alaba of Real Madrid Football Club and others presented the president with souvenirs. It is a profound, profound pleasure to have Mr. President in our midst. Of course, he's the father of the nation. So, and uh, it is customary when the friends travel um, to, to meet citizens, to have an interface with citizens. And he kept asking me, and he kept saying, what about the diaspora? What about the Nigerian diaspora? What about the Nigerian? He kept saying that. So, that, and that tells us what? It tells us that he is very much interested in this meeting. Thank you for this special moment. It makes a difference for us that you hear us and we want to make a promise to you that we are behind you and together we believe that if all of these things can happen in the space of three weeks in Nigeria, I leave to the magnitude of the aliens will happen in eight years under your administration. The meeting ended with the expectation that everything said here will translate to a win-win situation for Nigeria and its people.